At 60 years old, Simplicio Laxamana is a third-generation rice farmer. For two U.S. dollars, he works 14 hours a day to feed his family. But it will never be enough. I also have debts to pay. Everything is so expensive now. I borrowed money for the seeds, for the land, and also to buy the fertilizers. He knows he is mired in poverty, but this is all the life he's known. Rice is the staple food here. It is seen as the country's main nutritional backbone. Yet, more than half of the country's people are farmers like Simplicio, poor, uneducated, and marginalized. Number one is to, for us to own the land. Farming is a business. You need capital to be productive, efficient, and competitive. Second is the infrastructure. We are lagging behind. It is because of this, uh, what we call the serious underinvestment in the countryside, causing this uh, doing business uh, so high. And the country's rice consumption is growing, all because of its burgeoning population. Despite the Philippines being an agricultural country, it is one of the world's top rice importers. An average of about 500,000 tons of rice is being brought into the country every year. And many here say that dependency is a result of decades of failed government policies. Other Southeast Asian countries are able to lower prices because their government subsidizes most of their farmers. But not here. Importing rice has long been seen as the bandage solution by past administrations. And even President Aquino says imports of cheap rice will continue to drive down prices. The basic reason why uh, we uh, want to import rice is by, because, uh, as I explained, there is a, uh, we have to increase our buffer stock uh, by about seven days. Uh, this is national because commercial, price, commercial rice prices are very high uh, today. They are about 19% higher than the previous year. But that has made the smuggling of imported rice thrive here, making it very difficult for local rice producers to compete. It is a practice that even the government admits is hard to break. Those self-sufficiency targets by the government will most likely not be met, which means hunger will continue to persist even in the lives of the country's very own food producers. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Bulacan, Northern Philippines.